Got another quick video today. Um, we're not actually going to be doing any coding in this. We're just checking out a cool project. It's called Pseudoswap. Um, it's pretty new. They've been testing since I think last year or early this year, and they just released um, to the public earlier last month or maybe the month before. Anyway, it's only been out for like a month or two for the public, and I wanted to check it out. It's a decentralized NFT marketplace. People have been comparing it to Uniswap, but for NFTs. Um, it's a little bit different than OpenSea. On OpenSea, you can make offers and asks for different NFTs. Um, that's great. You know, people can provide liquidity that way. But with Pseudoswap, what you can actually do is create pools. So not only can you just make offers and asks, you can submit both um, Ethereum and your NFTs and trade basically um, both sides. And you're earning fees when people are making trades through those uh, collections. So first, let's check out those pools. I don't actually have anything in this wallet, so um, this isn't actually, we're not actually gonna set up a real pool, but I'm just gonna walk through the steps. So the different types of pools, we can buy NFTs, we can sell NFTs, or we can submit both and earn trading fees. So this is the cool part. This is where it's kind of similar to Uniswap um, because on Uniswap, you know, you can submit um, Ethereum and your tokens, or you know, two different tokens that you wanna swap between and people can earn fees uh, for the liquidity that they provide. So this offers a great way for NFTs to gain some more liquidity and for people that are offering the liquidity to um, get rewarded for it. So if we select create pool, we can deposit um, Ethereum. That's the only option they have right now for the token. And then for our NFTs, since this is all I have in my wallet, we'll just run it with this on my ENS name. So we're gonna deposit Ethereum and then we're gonna deposit an ENS name and we're gonna earn trading fees. If we go to the next step, this is where we can set up pricing. Um, so this is the fee amounts, um, the percent you wanna take on each trade as a fee. And I believe the base fee for Pseudoswap is um, 0.5%. So you can set something on top of that. Uh, for starting price, this is you can where you can set the starting price of the NFT. Um, We'll just start it at one Ethereum for now, just for testing. Bonding curve, this is gonna control the um, price action. So linear, it's gonna increase and decrease by a fixed amount. Um, exponential, it's gonna increase and decrease off uh, percentage. So we'll leave it for on linear for now. Um, delta, you can um, change the price that you'll buy up and down um, each time you sell an NFT. So we'll just leave that at zero for now. And then over here, we can actually say how many um, ENS names we would buy and how many we would like to sell. So we'll just put 10 for both of these for now. Um, if we see down here, um, this is the ETH price per ENS. So this is how our pool price adjusts with each one we buy or sell. Um, if we wanted to change that under Delta, Maybe we wanna try 0.01. So now if we check this, um, this is, these are the different prices that we would buy these NFTs based off our trading activities. It offers a, a good way to kinda, you know, pick the range that you want your liquidity to, to stay in. So if you wanna, you know, follow the prices up more aggressively you can, um, or you can just, you know, stay where you are if you don't really wanna follow the price up. Um, it's just a way for you to adjust your LP range. And so if you like your settings here, you can see it says we will deposit 9.45 ETH and 10 ENS. So we can go to the next step. So these are the pool details. You are depositing ETH 9.45 and you will buy up to 10 ENS. You are depositing 10 ENS to sell up to 10.45 ETH. So if we add those together, um, that's how much we would be depositing 9.45 and we would be selling 10.45 so if we go back let's see if it'll actually let us go back previous step if we adjust that delta to maybe like 0 0.12 so those numbers change see now it's 8.9 um, so we would be depositing 8.9 and we would be earning up to 10.9 so you can mess with those numbers to 
uh, mess with that delta to get these numbers how you would like them. Once you like it, um, you know, you would select your NFTs. I obviously don't have any NFTs in here, so I just have one. We're not actually going to be able to approve anything, but that's how you would go about setting up your pool. Um, you would approve it. Everything would be good to go. What we can do now, since we're not able to set this up, we can check out other pools. So if we come over to pseudo inu, um, we can check this collection out. We see these are the um, tokens up for sale right now. Um, so there's quite a few. Floor price 0 0.496. This is the best offer. And then this is the offer TVL. So this is like all the offers together. Um, and then the volume. So if we click one of these, when we go over to our cart, we can see, you know, we can buy these uh, one by one, just like on OpenSea, you know, just like other NFTs. So that doesn't really change much. Uh, one cool thing that's a little different, we can make a collection offer. So this is, you know, we would set how many NFTs we want to buy. Let's say we want to buy 100. Um, this is the price that we would offer for NFTs. So maybe we would say 0.5. And then this is the price we would, or this is the um, amount we would decrease by for each sell, or each time we buy one. Um, so this is the, you can set it to an um, Ethereum amount or a percentage amount. We'll just say 1%. So if you see the difference here, um, if we don't decrease, we would just have a set amount of 50. If we do decrease each time, this is the amount we would deposit. So, um, you know, that's kind of a way if you want to just like set, um, like a kind of like a static wall somewhere at a certain price and you'll you're like i'll buy all the nfts at this price you could just set it like this and you don't have to decrease price at all if you actually want to follow the price down and try to like average in or you know not just buy everything at that one stack price you can actually follow the price around a little bit um, so that's cool that's a cool little feature that OpenSea does not have another cool feature um, activity page that's kind of just similar to OpenSea. nothing really cool about that but the pools page, this is where it's really cool and different than OpenSea. You have different pools and the different owners here. So this pool, we have 17 tokens and 20 Ethereum. Um, this uh, pool, we have two tokens, um, 18 ETH. And then there's more down here. You know, these ones just have ETH, no tokens. So these people will be earning fees based off the trading. And that's the really cool part about PseudoSwap. That's what makes it different than um, OpenSea is these pools and the um, ability to reward liquidity providers for the liquidity. You know, on OpenSea, you're not really getting rewarded. You're just buying and selling. Um, the artist is getting royalties. You know, that's cool. But for people who are actually offering liquidity, there's no incentive for them to go out there and offer liquidity. And NFTs are notorious for, you know, being low on liquidity. They're not like tokens out there where, you know, even the worst token out there, that there's usually, you know, some liquidity. With NFTs, if no one's buying it, you got no one to sell to, you know, there's just nothing there. So this offers a cool way for people um, to get some more liquidity and it actually incentivizes people to offer liquidity. So it's, it's a really cool tool. I'm excited to see how it grows. Um, it's been gaining a lot of popularity over the last few weeks. So we'll see how it stacks up against OpenSea over the next few months. And we'll see if it keeps growing. And um, I actually haven't even bought anything on here yet. But, um, you know, I'm just kind of doing some research, uh, research, checking it out. And uh, we'll see what happens. But if you guys find anything cool on here, let me know. Have a good one. Bye.